A few weeks ago, I was online looking for a pair of new work boots. And so I Googled something along the lines of best work boots for women. And I saw a few YouTube videos popped up and I thought, oh cool, this could actually be helpful. And so I started clicking through the videos and one by one, I started to notice a little problem. The videos were all by men. And I thought, well, it's kind of hard to say what the best work boot is for women if you're not a woman. So I reached out to all my friends who are women in heavy industry, and I looked across the major retailers online and found the best reviewed boots. And I put all of that together for this video. There's some classics in there that I think you'll love and some new ones that you've probably never even heard of. So if you're on the hunt for a new pair of work boots or safety shoes, this is the video for you. Hi, I'm Rachel Walla with Ally Safety, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about the best work boots for women, and the list is by women. All right, let's jump right into it. For some of us out there, our first boot buying experience involved walking into a shoe store, asking for help on finding the women's steel-toed boots and being directed to a shelf with like one model that had pink laces and having the sales associate say, here's what we've got, or you can always buy a men's shoe. This is problematic if you have a job where you tend to spend a lot of time on your feet. The reason for that is men's and women's feet are shaped differently. It used to be that everyone assumed women's feet were just smaller versions of men's, but now we know better. Because women tend to be shaped differently than men, the angle where the foot strikes the ground is different, and so is the distribution of weight and balance. This means the foot has to also be correspondingly differently shaped. How this plays out is women's feet are generally narrower with a higher arch and more triangular in the measurement from the heel to the toes, while men's have a more rectangular shape and balance. The struggle is real. And unfortunately, most of us can't just go buy a men's shoe off the shelf and expect it to fit as comfortably or as well as a woman's shoe will. Luckily, a lot has changed since then. And we have options out there that are fun, functional, and even built for women. This video is not sponsored and all these shoes were bought by me to do this video for you. So if you like this video, please hit that like button and it lets me know if I should do more videos like this in the future. The shoes I chose for this video had to meet three different criteria. They had to have a safety toe that met ASTM requirements. They also had to have great reviews and be durable enough for us to spend our hard earned money on. The third criteria is they have to have a certain coolness factor. You know, there isn't anything worse than getting up at 4.30 in the morning to go on a job site wearing the heaviest, ugliest boots you've ever had to own in your entire life. And if we're gonna spend money on them, we want them to be something we'll enjoy wearing. So that's what I took into account with all these shoes. Now let's get going with our list of the best work boots for women. So I was super excited to find these Xena boots on my search. They're a really great boot if you have a job where you need to go from the factory floor to an office setting over and over and over again, and you wanna look stylish while you do it. When I got my first management job, I realized that I had to up my shoe game to fit in when giving presentations and working with executives without having to switch shoes five times a day to go out into the production lines. However, back then there wasn't a shoe on the market that fit the bill. So I settled with having big clunky work boots in the boardroom. Well, now there's the Xena Gravity and it is the first truly stylish steel toed boot for women that I've found. The really cool thing about this company is that it was started just about a year ago by a woman in heavy industry who also noticed that there was a need for a better work boot for women. So she just went out and made it happen. One thing to note with this one is that you do wanna go up about half a size larger than you normally would as they tend to run small. The heel height is two inches, which means it meets Canadian safety standards. And they also have an electrostatic dissipative model as well. I don't know about you, but when it comes to shoes, sometimes I just like a really basic classic that you can wear to work and then also wear out running errands afterwards and still feel stylish and cool. 
And I just love these. These have been around forever and they're such a great style, especially with skinny jeans. They're very on trend right now. For those of you who work in construction, you know a lot of construction jobs require ankle support and this one fits the bill. I also just like the look of this one and we'll throw it on and wear it around all weekend too. So if you find a safety shoe that you like that much that you wear when you're off work, I think it's a pretty good indicator of how good it is. So this next work boot is kind of quickly becoming the new classic work boot that I see on job sites everywhere I go all the time. And it is the Keen Flint Low Shoe. What I like about this one is it has the comfort of a hiking shoe or tennis shoe, but with the look of more of a boot. And I really like that about it. We chose this model over some of the cheaper alternatives like Skechers because it has a better style and tends to last a lot longer. Last summer, I was at this job site where it was really hot and humid and I was wearing my normal heavy work boots and some of the girls I worked with rocked up both wearing these Keen shoes and their feet looked so much more comfortable and cool and needless to say, my feet were very jealous. The really cool thing about these is these are little air vents. So these are gonna be probably some of the coolest, most lightweight, nice shoes to wear in hot climates. I definitely suggest them in the summer because if you've ever worked a long summer day with heavy work boots, you know that having cool feet really makes a big difference. So let's say you have one of those jobs where you only need to go out onto a job site or the factory floor like once a week. Like, you know, somebody who's maybe in accounting, IT, procurement, or some engineering disciplines where you're just really not out in an industrial setting all that much. But when you do go out, you still need to look professional and be comfortable. Well, for you guys, I'm gonna recommend this clog by Ariat. This is actually the second pair of these I bought. I wore them for about a year, a couple years ago um, on every job site. They were comfortable for long-term use, but they're also just like a great slip-on shoe for when you're just going to the job site or like, you know, keeping them at your desk. Now, just because I say they're for those who go out occasionally doesn't mean they aren't comfortable. They were my main safety shoes for about a year and they're lightweight due to having a composite toe and really nice to wear. Also, if you travel a lot for work, these aren't going to take up as much space in your carry-on as a lot of the other options we'll look at today. I really love a pull-on work boot. I like the way that there's an open top and there's more airflow through there so your feet stay nice and cool. And I also just love the comfort of having more roominess in the shoe. So these ones from Ariat are super, super cute. They have great reviews online and they're just like a fun, different look than most work boots. These boots are probably the ones you'll wanna pull on and wear around the house on the weekend, even when work is over. They've got a few good colors and that classic cowgirl look that I really like too. I have searched the internet multiple times over the last few years to try and find the best knee-high work boot that also has a safety toe, and there's just nothing out there. If you know of anything, please let me know in the comments below. I just have not found one. The closest thing I have found is the Dr. Martin's Leah Combat Boot. They are super comfortable. They go up about mid-calf, and they also have the roll-down feature, which I never use, but I do think it's a cool feature. I also found them to be one of the most comfortable safety shoes I own, although I would not recommend them during the summer since they can feel pretty hot. Those are the best work boots for women out there right now. What did you think? Were there any models that you really love that I didn't feature? Please let me know in the comments below because I'm sure we would all appreciate some advice from the other girls out there. Hopefully this video helps you find a new pair of work boots that you're not just gonna like and be comfortable in, but also love to wear as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me to know if I'm getting the content out there that you wanna see.
Also, I'd like to do a big shout out to the Great American Comfort Shoe Company. They were super helpful in making sure that I got the shoes for this video shipped here on time and answering any questions I had. Again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later.